do. I've done both segments. It's just time to connect. Hi, I guess I'm a little bit backlit here, but nothing new in a Jupiter video. Anyway, where have I been? What have I been up to? I haven't been making videos, or at least I haven't been posting videos to YouTube. I apologize for that. I think, you know, sometimes you just gotta take a little bit of a break. And I think 2020 is maybe quite a bit of the year that you wanna take a break from doing things that you maybe normally do and you know, trying some new stuff, and that's what I've been doing. I'm back, and I'm planning on making a bunch of new videos. I actually have about five videos filmed. I just need to go through and edit them. Uh, I am continuing my series on how to through hike, going through different things that I've learned over 10,000 miles of hiking long distance trails, you know, just taking it topic by topic. The next two videos in that series are about sleep systems and also campsite selection. Campsite selection, I feel, is the most important thing when it comes to backpacking and, you know, staying warm and dry and safe when you are camping. You know, it is the most important reason why I have been able to get away with hiking so many long trails with just like a six pound backpack. It is because I choose my campsites very wisely and we'll be going over that in that video. Something else that I've been working on, I'm also making a lot of gear reviews. You know, it's not really something I've done too much of in the past, I suppose, but you know, since I'm not really through hiking right now and maybe everyone's gearing up and thinking about 2021 just like I am, you know, felt like now is kind of a cool time to go through all of my things and make reviews about the stuff that I find either really horrible or really awesome. So be on the lookout for that as well. But also, you know, I've kind of taken this time to break into some new hobbies and just enjoy different things. And so lately what I've been doing is painting a lot more. And unfortunately in hand, I don't really have any paintings to show you because I either give them all away or I sell them. Some of them are just smaller watercolor paintings and then others are very large watercolor paintings. I actually just did a very large triptych for uh, the Outdoor Evolution office, which is Darwin's media company. I'm sure many of you know who Darwin on the trail is. And I'm fortunate enough to live in the same town as him and you know, he, Fortunately, he <laughs> likes my paintings and uh, commissioned me to do a very large one for his office. And, you know, I took it on and I thought it was a very fun thing. So, been doing a lot of painting, which has been wonderful, you know, because the world has just been, you know, on fire, figuratively and literally. <laughs> I had made plans to go out west. I had wanted to do, I was thinking maybe the Yosemite high route or the Sierra high route, the Southern Sierra high route, the lowest to high route. Uh, just all these plans to just go out west and be there hiking uh, for a while. And then just fires started cropping up all over California and those plans just got immediately thrown out the window. Actually, the fires started happening maybe like a week before we were thinking about leaving to go do that. So those plans were gone. You know, the coronavirus is still like very present in I'm sure everyone's lives. I know cases are rising here in Arizona again. Um, so, you know, I can't go out clubbing. As we all know, I love clubbing. You know, I just can't go out and do the things that maybe I would be doing normally. You know, going to a rock climbing gym or, you know, I could 
but it's it feels weird to be going out and doing stuff so it's just been so wonderful to be painting you know sitting down listening to music or a podcast and focusing on something that's very relaxing for me i've also during this downtime taken up something that has become maybe like this new crazy obsession for me but uh disc golf so once again i've picked up a very niche niche sport that you know maybe not many folks have heard of but it's been wonderful you know it's disc golf it's frisbee golf uh, actually, I'll go grab one right now. So it's it's like same rules as golf. Golf, you know, you're trying to get uh, the object, the frisbee, into the hole uh, in as few throws as possible. You know, and it's cool. You just go outside, and basically every single week, I walk like 30 miles just playing disc golf, <laughs> which is fun. But yeah, you play with frisbees and you throw them through the woods and you get to get outside and you can play it alone or you can play it with another person or a small group and it's it's really just been a wonderful thing for me to do during the pandemic and you know when my other plans have been canceled it gives me an excuse to just get outside every single day. At least like living out of my van, which is sitting right over there, you know, it's something where I can easily carry like 10 of these things in the van just like in some tiny little corner pocket and uh, not really have to think about it. And if you were traveling, you know, in a van or in a vehicle or an RV or whatever, you know, basically any town you go to in the United States is going to have a disc golf course. So that's been super fun, you know, and that's just been like a, the greatest way for me to get outside and just enjoy the weather and you know, have some place to go and not be stuck just indoors or stuck. Uh, this time has given me, you know, an opportunity to hang out and spend more time with my girlfriend Lotus. You know, we had met on the Pacific Northwest Trail. She was a national park ranger. If you guys saw those videos, then maybe you recognized her in there. Just pop up a couple times in the final video. So I've kind of been, you know, just cherishing these moments doing things that aren't through hiking though next year i am so excited to get back into it uh, it seems this year every time i try and plan something the plans just wind up getting canceled by you know some crazy crazy stuff you know who could have uh th <laughs> thought that the coronavirus was gonna get as big as it was come you know when we were first hearing about it in january you know, who would have thought that the fire season out west was going to be as bad as it was or, you know, just impact the trails as much as it has. Or even the Arizona Trail, there's hundreds of miles that are closed because of fires, you know, have just destroyed it in some spots. So, you know, next year, very, very excited to get back to through hiking and um, just a little bit more normalcy for me in my life, I suppose. But yeah, uh, for the rest of this year, you know, I've taken a little bit of a break from the videos, but I'm really excited to get back into doing those. You know, I've already filmed like five or six videos so far that are being edited and planned on posting them soon. You know, I plan on doing a lot more. You know, continuing with my How to Through Hike series, continuing with gear reviews, continuing with maybe smaller trail hikes and more local hikes and stuff like that. You know, backpacking trips, if I can, you know, do some cooler stuff that I feel is like worth showing you guys. Because some things, I don't know. We'll see if, how I can kind of do that stuff, you know, and make it interesting and worth watching. You know, my intention is not to just post garbage to post essentially you know i want to feel inspired and i want to feel creative that's essentially why i took this break is that you know just the times and the world isn't it's not making me feel the most creative like video wise when it comes to hiking so uh, i think that feeling has kind of been coming back and creeping back and maybe it's just because i'm getting more excited for next year and maybe it's the weather just getting colder out but Either way, I'm getting more excited to make videos for you guys, and uh, hopefully there will be a lot of them coming up. So next year, definitely getting back into through hiking. This year has been so strange on so many levels, but 
you know, I hope we are all just making the best of it. You know, whether you're painting at home, playing frisbee golf like me, you know, I, I hope you're not feeling too stuck because I've definitely been feeling that a lot myself, you know, just having the inability to travel. You know, whether I was going to travel or not, you want to have the option. And I, I get that. I absolutely get that. So I, I hope you found some fun stuff to kind of occupy yourself with this year and be productive and, you know, just enjoy the time doing other things. So anyway, I'm back. Be on the lookout for new videos. Uh, they're definitely coming. I just got to start editing them faster. <laughs> mm -hmm.